all right uh, hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be talking about cell selection so uh, right now if you select these cells uh, you notice nothing happens um, and uh, that's because we haven't provided any kind of functionality uh, to those selections now how can we do that um, well that's why we are here to look for uh, to answer that question so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this UI collection view delegate and uh, see if we can find anything in this class or in this protocol okay so what you notice is as soon as you walk into this now uh, there's a there's a function uh, that has a parameter did select item at so that seems to be uh, that seems to be one that should work so I'm gonna copy this without optional and gonna go back and by the way when I'm trying to go into the uh, definition I'm holding the command key so I hold the command key uh, click and uh, then I click jump to definition alternatively what you can do is you can simply right click and say jump to definition it'll take you the same place or third variation is if you right if you right click after holding the command key you're straight into that definition okay three ways to get to the uh, to the uh, to the class definition okay now uh, we have copied that function and uh, we're gonna paste it right here with um, comet cell selection and I'm gonna paste it right here okay so with this uh, we are ready to handle selection so uh, what happens is uh, whenever you whenever a user uh, taps uh, on a cell uh, this uh, particular delegate function is called did select item at index path so what we need to do is uh, we get the index path so we can look up inside our data which index was clicked and we can actually do some operation on that particular index of our data so for example we can simply say uh, let uh, indexed or selected selected data is equal to data and we're going to use index path dot item property because that's going to give us like you know which index it was tapped on and uh, then we get the selected data we simply print that selected data inside our console so if I run this right now what's gonna happen is we are going to see our dog our uh, cat mouse anything that you're selecting here being printed in the console okay and this is uh, this operation is very useful because um, uh, uh, there are situations where uh, when let's say in future when we're gonna be uh, when we're gonna try to delete these cells uh, we're gonna provide a selection mechanism where we're gonna allow user to select these cells before deleting them and then once their selections are done we're gonna allow them to delete it but uh, we need to know what they have selected so we can actually create a uh, some sort of array that keeps a track of what items user has really selected okay so that's why uh, like you know and uh, obviously for 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 many reasons you want to actually show uh, which selected index what is it like you know take them to a detail view and stuff like that for that that reason this uh, function is important um, okay so in the next video we're gonna handle this uh, to do something more than printing it in the console so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create a detail view and uh, gonna pass this information into into that detail view and I'm also gonna show you uh, a uh, um, a very common error that uh, I mean it's, it's, it's an issue that happens that that's uh, I can crash your app and you're gonna be baffled by like you know why it is happening so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that like you know uh, that that happens and how you can avoid that okay so I will see you guys in the next video and we're gonna continue from here on the uh, displaying selected text into a detail view all right so I'll see you guys in the next video thank you